What's up everybody, I'm Alex, you're watching Vaga Brothers, and right now we're in Canmore, Alberta. We're about to hop in this helicopter and take a scenic tour of the Rocky Mountains. Let's go. everybody welcome back to the channel it is a beautiful day here in Lake Louise in Alberta Canada and we have an awesome day lined up we're doing a trip down the Icefield Parkway our last video was in Jasper National Park today we're going from Lake Louise to Banff and this place in itself is beautiful Alex and I are staying in these suites overlooking the lake we were here in the fall about a year ago it looks like this in warm weather all right, so we're gonna start things off today by throwing on some ice skates, getting very Canadian, and enjoying this beautiful view. You ready? Let's see who can stay off their butts the longest. You know that feeling when you drink like a 12 pack of beer? No. <laughs> when you were younger and drank a lot of beer? Maybe and then you stood up and you had been sitting down the whole time and you try to walk to the bathroom. That is what your first time ice skating feels like. All right, skating is done. Successful completion of the morning ice skate. No falls on the ice. Definitely fell coming off of the ice. Got a little too comfortable. Went from ice to snow, slipped, fell on my butt. Camera's okay, I'm okay. So I'd say, great success. just arrived to Canmore in Alberta. It's just a little bit past Banff and uh, we're right nestled up against the Rocky Mountains. We're gonna be hopping into this helicopter. We're here at Alpine Helicopter Tours and we're gonna get a scenic view of the Rocky Mountains from above. I love helicopters. I feel like if I weren't doing this, then maybe I'd be a helicopter pilot. You know, a lot of Instagrammers, they always take the doors off the helicopters to get those feet over the landscape shots. I'm gonna go ahead and say in this weather, let's keep those doors closed. I'm gonna superimpose my feet over the photo and just view this beautiful landscape from the warmth of the inside cabin. You guys can both hear me okay? Not uh, loud and clear. Copy. Okay. 
That was awesome! <laughs> Just touched down via helicopter to Snowy Owl Tours. I think it's pretty obvious what we're about to go do. Yeah, we're gonna go uh, sleigh riding, just like Santa Claus, but instead of reindeer, we have dogs. They're huskies, they're beautiful, they're uh, a lot of them. Ready to go. Oh my God, yeah! I highly re recommend the princess seat. Everybody Yay. needs to be a princess sometime. Yeah, right, dude, this is so awesome, bro. <laughs> We're in the middle of a big frozen lake. We got here by dog sled. And we're just surrounded by these majestic snow covered peaks. This is so cool, it's like time travel. I just kind of think back to like what it must have been like to be you know, a trapper or like a mountain man out here, getting around in the winter with a, with a dog team. But this is so cool. This is honestly one of the best experiences I think I've ever had. It's so high up there. If you get a chance to come out here, do yourself a favor do this tour because there is nothing more fun than driving a dog sled through this beautiful place. So we're just going through this gigantic meadow right now and it's just beautiful to see so much of everything. There's so much white, there's so many trees, there's so many mountains, there's so much blue sky, there's so many dogs and they're all making so much noise but right now it's a little bit quiet and peaceful. <laughs> So my question is, are you a fan of the dog sleds? Dog sleds are really cool, but what's also very cool is downtown Banff. This is an old mining town that's got a ton of character and a bunch of great restaurants and bars. And hot springs. And hot springs. But we are going to go now get some dinner at Chuck's Steakhouse. Alberta, where the prairies meet the Rockies. Here in the mountains, we've got the best access to the best beef from Canada's prairies. And we're gonna now eat that beef along with some other sides and have a feast for the books. So we've ordered a table side Caesar salad. It's pretty awesome. It comes in an excessively large wooden bowl. Very interesting to see all the steps that happen in a traditional Caesar salad. It's the beginning of an elaborate and delicious meal and one that we're quite excited about. gentlemen welcome back we are in sunshine village we're in a gondola we're on our way up to do some riding we're joined by Kim Marco what's going on uh, super stoked today to try out a new board I bought the Burton 
uh, flight attendant, 156. So we're gonna get this on, and hopefully it'll be a good balance of like uh, backcountry riding and freestyle. So we're suited and booted. We're here with Connor Felix. He is a local rider here at Sunshine Village, and we're gonna go do some laps of the park and have him show us the mountain. So. Ready to ride. Do What's it. the best thing about Sunshine Village? Dude? The best thing about Sunshine Village is probably, it, it is the best hill in Alberta, one. I would say probably just the amount of area there is to snowboard. Fun little tree run today. All right, well, we've done a couple of laps. We've uh, Shredded the gnar. Connor has shredded the gnar much gnarlier than us. We're gonna head inside, we're gonna get some lunch. The short rib poutine is actually attracting visitors who need to take a photo. <laughs> I've never seen such a thing, it's just amazing. <laughs> We're on the mountain, we're in the park right now, and Connor is gonna chuck a backflip off of this jump, so. Fingers crossed. I got a feeling he can do it, he shreds. Just finished snowboarding and we're back down in town here in Banff. It's a snowy day. It's a little chilly, so I think we're gonna warm it up. Head over to a little distillery. Oh yeah. I'm all about that app. All about that app. App race ski. Sorry, we're gonna go do app race ski at a distillery. Well, we've made it to Park Distillery, aptly named because it's the only licensed distillery in a national park in Canada. I don't know if there's any distilleries in national parks in the United States. Maybe, maybe not, but it doesn't change the fact that they have a very nice gin, which I'm sampling right now in a gin and tonic. Mark got a smoky cocktail. The observation deck. We got some rye whiskey, which is Canadian style whiskey with just a little bit of rye in it. We have some seven year old rum, and it's basically an old fashioned, and they smoked cedar wood to give it a little flavor. Oh, yeah. It's like turning ham into bacon, it's just that much more smoky. All right, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, after an epic week, it's time to call it an end. All good things must come to an end, so big thanks to Travel Alberta for bringing us down here. It's been an epic week here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've not seen the first one from Jasper National Park, go check that one out as well. And if you like this video, you know what to do. 
ding. Give it a big thumbs up. Share with your friends, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you have not already. And as always, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you on the road. Peace.